Thanks for clicking on the video here today. We're going to get started and finish up our lesson on the New Testament church. Well, what is the purpose of the local church? The local church is a place where believers gather to do many different things. One is hear God's word. In the book of Acts in chapter 2 and verse 42, the Bible says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in prayer and in breaking of bread and in prayers. <clears throat> we come to uh, the house of God. We come. The reason we come together as a church is to hear God's word, is to be together. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, to hear preaching and to hear teaching of the Bible. That's why we're supposed to be here. We, so we're here for uh, teaching of the Bible, to hear his word. We're here for prayer. Uh, again, in verse 42, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. So there, we, we come to the house of God as a church family to fellowship with one another. That's the third one, fellowship with other believers. Again, the same verse, it hits all three. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. So they, were, they came to hear preaching, to hear from God's word, and to fellowship and in breaking of bread. To have fellowship together. If you're breaking bread with somebody, it means you're uh, being around them. You're fellowshipping together. You're, you're eating together. You're conversating together. You're having a good time together. And you're also, we come to the house of God to observe the two ordinances, baptism and the Lord's Supper. In verse 41, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. How does somebody get baptized? Well, first, they have to be saved. So we come to the, uh, for the churches here so we could observe the two ordinances, baptism and the Lord's Supper. Fulfill the Great Commission by sending the gospel locally and globally. In the book of Matthew, in chapter 28, God gives us a commandment. Matthew 28. <clears throat> We're here to, what's the New Testament church here for? To fulfill the Great Commission by sending the gospel locally and globally. Matthew chapter 28 and verses 19 through 20. The Bible says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So the New Testament church is here to fulfill the Great Commission. God has told us to go and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. What has he commanded us? Uh, uh, we find his commandments in the Bible. And where can we hear the Bible? Through the New Testament church, through someone preaching the Bible. Make sure they're preaching the Bible, though. That's what they need to be teaching from is the Bible. Bring t uh, the next thing. What's the New Testament church? What is it? What's the purpose? To bring tithes and offerings to the Lord. First um, Corinthians in chapter or Malachi in chapter three. Malachi Chapter 3 and verse 8 through 10, the Bible says, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherefore and have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be uh, meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. So we're supposed to come to the church. The church is here so believers can give their tithes and offerings to God. What else is the church here for? Serve with their God-given gifts. The book of 1 Corinthians in chapter 12. 1 Corinthians in chapter 12. In verses, uh, verse 18. But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. We're supposed to serve with their God-given gifts. You're here for a reason. God has given you something that you're able to do in your life, and that is something that can help the church. God has given you something. He's given you a gift to use in the church. And we're also supposed to observe, learn, and minister and lead. Ephesians 4. I know I'm jumping through the verses uh, quickly, but we're looking at what is the purpose of the local church. 
uh, to observe, learn, minister, and lead. We need to find what the purpose is through God's Word. I can't just tell you what it is. It's through the Bible that He teaches us what the purpose is. Ephesians chapter 4 and verses 11 through 14. And He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. So we're supposed to be able to learn these things so people can't just trick us. And then finally, what are we here for? To encourage, to restore, to strengthen other believers. The book of Hebrews, Hebrews in chapter 10, in verse 24, the Bible says, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. So we're supposed to encourage one another, restore one another, um, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together and as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching, you're supposed to restore each other, tell each other about how Christ is coming. But see in verse 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. The Bible says, do not forsake coming together. You need to come together into the New Testament church. You need to be in your local church. And strengthen other believers. We're supposed to be there for one another. Uh, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Why? Because if you're not together, how can you exhort one another? How can you help one another? But exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault... Ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. We are here as the local church to help one another out, to help other members out. We need to come together and enjoy each other's company. We need to come together to hear God's word preached to us. We need to come together so we can pray together. We need to fellowship with one another. We need to observe the ordinance of God of baptism in the Lord's Supper. We're here so we can fulfill the Great Commission and tell others about Christ and how they can be saved. We're here so we can give our tithes and our offerings to God. The local church is here for those things. We're he uh, the local church is here so we can serve with our God-given gifts in the local church. The local church is here so people can observe, learn, minister, and lead others to Christ. The local church is here so people can encourage, restore, and strengthen other believers. So if people ask, why, is, why do we have the church? These are the reasons. What is the purpose of the local church? And I'm so thankful that God has given it to us. Thanks for watching today. See you next time.